Now, we're just going to be working on the basic design of the birdhouse. <clears throat> now, some of you may be asking the question, okay, so why, why are we working on making a birdhouse? So why make a birdhouse? Well, first of all, cavity nesting birds are um, easily preyed upon by house cats and other predators. And to kind of give you a little bit of background on <clears throat> what cavity nesting birds and where they're their habitats are. I, I'm just basically went outside and made a quick video of some areas. I'm gonna show you. So when I mention different environments, there are some birds that like to build their nests in the cavities of trees, and these are called cavity nesting birds. Well, okay. Now that I've shown you what the habitats for these nesting birds looks like compared to um, those of regular nesting birds, and all right, yeah, because house cats can actually access the trees and they can easily access these nesting locations where these birds are at, they can access the eggs, they can get to the birds themselves. So it creates a problem. So the um, way that humans can prevent that from happening, or actually just kind of reduce the, the, uh, the occurrences, is to create birdhouses. So these, okay, so when we're making the birdhouse, what should we do first? Well, let's start by making a model of our birdhouse. Now to do this, we'll be using Tinkercad. Now, the reason we're going to be using Tinkercad instead of another method is I'll kind of demonstrate to you why we're going to use 3D modeling instead of using Tinkercad, or instead of um, just doing pencil and paper and just drawing it out. Okay, I mentioned before why we're using a 3D modeling software instead of putting this on paper using a pencil. Because, like Mr. Lovering, some of you may not be the greatest artist. So you may get something that looks kind of like what I just put on paper. All right, so let's start out by creating the nest box. So our nest box should be two inches wide, two inches deep, and three inches tall. Now to make that, we are going to actually put a box out here. Okay, and remember to change the dimensions of our box. We have to select our box, and we can actually click on one of these corner handles. And right now, like I said, the default size is one inch by one inch, but we want to change this to two inches wide by two inches deep. So we're going to change those two numbers to two. That's going to make our box just the, the right width and depth, but we need to make this three inches tall. And remember that white handle on the top changes our height. So we're going to make this three inches tall. All right. So we're going to need the inside of the nest box to be 1.2 inches wide, 1.2 inches deep, and 2.6 inches tall. Now the reason All right. And remember how to do that, we are going to drag a whole box onto the work plane. We're going to change the dimensions for this. We're going to make it 1.2 inches wide. We are going to make it 1.2 inches deep. And we are going to make it 2.6 inches tall. All right. And now remember, in order for us to make this box into an actual box with an opening, we're going to have to take this uh, whole box structure and actually align it to the to the solid structure. So I'm with that transparent box selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to select the solid box. That's going to show that I now have both of these shapes selected. All right, but and so I'm going to click on the align tool. Remember we used the align tool in our previous activities. So we're going to align this, but we're going to align it on the box. So I have to click on the solid box to bring my align handles to the solid box. I want to have it centered in the front centered on the side and then I want it to be aligned perfectly with the top of this box so I'm going to click that top box. handle so now as you now with both of those shapes still selected I'm going to hit my group function that's going to group these together and actually make this into a solid box all right so we're going to drag drag a roof structure onto the work plane all right and my dimensions say that the roof should be 0.5 inches tall so we're going to change it's already 0.5 inches tall we're going to change the width and the depth to four inches. So we're going to click on one of these corners again so we can change two dimensions. We're going to change the width to four and we're going to change the depth to four. So we are going to raise this house, up, this roof up till your measurements on the side say three inches. All right, so now I have it at the proper height. So with the roof selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to click on the structure of the house. I'm going to click my line function. I'm going to click on the house again, and I want to center this on the front and on the side. So now my roof should be perfectly centered on the top of my house. Our opening. 
All right, now it says our entry hole should be 0.4 inches in diameter and 4 inches long. All right, so we're going to take a hole cylinder. We're going to place it on the work plane. And we're going to make this 0.4 inches in diameter. So we're going to type 0 0.4. We're going to type 0 0.4 over here. So we're going to have that the right diameter, and we're going to make this thing 4 inches long. So we're going to change this dimension to 4. Now, it is the right size, but as you can see, it is not positioned correctly to put into this house. So we are going to have to rotate this around. So let us, we're going to go here, we're going to click on our rotate handle, and we're just going to rotate this 90 degrees. All right, so we want the height of this to be 2.04 inches. So let's just go ahead and just change our height, and that's going to put it exactly at the right level, but it's still not placed where we want it. So let's keep that cylinder selected. Let's select our house, and we're going to click our Align tool again, and we're going to align it on our house. So let's put it here. We're going to center it there. We're going to center it there. All right, that puts it right exactly where we would like it to be, and with those shapes still selected, we're going to go ahead and group this. All right, so now I have my house with my roof on it and my opening.